What's up YouTube? Welcome to La Casa de Modern Effects. So today we're gonna do a Brembo swap and Billy is a V6 SXT and we're about to swap these out for him. These were powder coated by Particle Man, right? He did a pretty nice job, really nice. I really like the detail on the way it looks. Almost looks factory. Get a little close up of them. And this is this is the rear actually. Can I get a front one? So here go the, this is the, the actual front ones. Pretty nice detail. Can, show, can I get closer? Right there. That's cool. You can see it. So again, we're gonna do a. Um, we're gonna swap out his uh, A arms and spindles. It all comes together, and I'm gonna explain exactly how I take it apart. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna uh, pinch the lines. Gonna use the line clamp and I'm put it on the brakes right about here. There we go. You can find those at uh, AutoZone, probably a uh, snap-on truck. They have all kinds you can, that you can buy. So first I'm gonna start with some of the small stuff that I, I know I gotta loosen up. Uh, for one, we got the, I'm gonna try to turn it so you guys can see. We got a tent right here for the bracket, for the Brembo, for the uh, brake, brake line. And this is the number 10 millimeter. Take that out, that way it's not in my way. And then we got a number 10 here for the wheel speed sensor. Take this off. Okay. And we're gonna reuse this one for sure. And that's a number 10. And you know, kind of just kind of move it, wiggle it out a little bit. Should come right out. You know, put that aside because we are gonna reuse this one. Alright, so we got that off, that one off. This O lines are loose. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the 18 off the A arm on the top. And I'm gonna knock that loose with a sledgehammer. They actually have, you can actually get this tool, you can pop it out like this too, if you wanted to, right? You can buy that, get that at AutoZone, you can rent that, advance, any of those. I'm just gonna give it a little, little tap and that kind of loosened it up, made it easier for me. I just, something I'm used to. So I'm gonna tighten this back up just a little bit, just enough so that I can get some of this suspension parts. Let me get a 21 swivel. So as I said, this is an 18 millimeter bolt right here. Well, there you go. So, here we got the uh, lower control arm rear. This is a lower control arm forward, which is also known as a tension strut. It's one of the very common items everybody changes out. You know, when you get a little bit of shake and vibration, or kind of like a hop. <clears throat> I'm just gonna loosen, I'm not gonna take it completely off because I, I do need to be able to, um, pop these down and have something hold it. So I loosen that one up and then I'm gonna tighten it right back up so that way it doesn't fall down. If you're working by yourself, I recommend taking the, the brakes off, taking the rotors off. It makes this arm a lot lighter for you. And there we go. Take, take the brake line off. It'll leak a little bit, but we have a clamp on here so prevent from a lot of fluid coming off. So that pretty much has the whole entire A arm completely loose. I'll take this one off here. That's gone off, right? I'm gonna just lift it up. Cat's gonna lift it up for me. I'm gonna take the 18 off again. All right. 
and that's why I loosened everything. I loosened it in those positions so that I can have the whole entire assembly oh, come off. So here's the new one here. I'm going to go ahead and put the uh, 18 all the way up top so that I can work. We're not going to reuse, reuse these. We're going to keep the one from the original vehicle. Um, if you have a, if you're doing this swap, a lot of the times you'll have this from uh, available from like the 2007 to 2014, I would say. Um, I would keep your own wheel speed sensor so that way you don't get no codes or errors or anything like that. When you're buying these parts, you want to make sure that these boots are not tore up or messed up. If they are, you can replace this ball joint, but it's a, it is a little headache to get it swapped out. I'm going to go ahead and take the wheel speed sensor off again. So again, I mean, this this is not super, super hard to do. This swap is just a little time consuming, I would say, and just use some muscle on it. Kind of wiggle it and it'll come out. There we go, we're halfway there. Now I think that was pretty quick. Uh, when I was doing this live before, it was taking a lot longer because I didn't have everything ready or anything for the video, but there I go. I put the first one, lower control arm rear, then lower control arm forward is right in front of it. You put those together and you can put the bolts back on and tighten them. And then we have the Tie rod in. Tie rod in. And a 21 to go with it. Tighten these up already. This time, uh, when you try to hit it with impact, it spins and all that stuff, but it actually has um, an Allen key slot on the bottom so that we can go ahead and tighten this up. So, righty tighty, lefty loosey, right? Once you get it tight and snug by hand, then you can go ahead and hit it with an impact wrench. Just take your time on it, study all the pieces. I would say take it, the easiest way I found was the way I was showing you taking it apart. Obviously I didn't, I didn't take apart the strut or this because it kind of holds everything in place for me. Um, if I was to loosen this up, I would probably never get any of the pieces taken apart because it'll kind of sag. I wouldn't be able to get into the position to loosen it, put it that way. We got the 21 up here. I'm gonna go ahead and tighten this bottom one now that we got it snug. My impact lower. That's a number two setting. Um, just look up the factory specs and you can get it <laughs> where it needs to be. I kind of know where they are and I'll hit it with a torque off camera, I guess. At this point, I'm just trying to get y'all to, so y'all know where everything is. Then once I got that all tightened up, I can loosen this again and I can get to that bolt. Cause you wouldn't be able to get to that bolt if, uh, if it was all the uh, 18. No, we're good. And then I'm gonna go ahead and tighten this one up. a little more and then I'm gonna go ahead and put the 18 up top right back on and we're almost ready for, for the for the Brembo's I'm not gonna tighten this up all the way because I do have some other stuff I'm doing on this car um, I'm also we're also doing the B Woody sway bar end links which are right here which I'm about to loosen up and take that apart but let me go ahead and get the Brembo part of it done so that way you can see. So right now we got the A arm back on there. We got the front, the lower control on front, lower control on rear, tie rod ends put back together. And now we're gonna get a rotor. Unfortunately, Randall's with the camera so he couldn't say we live, but I'll say it for him. Mod effects, we live. <laughs> and let me get a, um, a lug nut so I can hold this and it don't fall on my toe, please. Definitely don't wanna have one of these fall on your toe from this distance. As you notice, we still have the, the line pinch and nothing's bleeding out of it right now. And we have this beauty coming back right back on right now. Uh-oh, we got the wrong one, Billet. Don't scare him. Oh yeah, I missed the hole. There we go. There we go. All right. I'll go ahead and hit it with the 21. I'm going to go ahead and hit that 21 and tighten these up. 
they left the lines because they cut these from, from, from the, at the junkyard, so I gotta take this off right now. Loosen these up. Boom, that's gone, we don't need that piece. So we got a couple more. Let's twist it up. Sprayed a good amount of WD-40. You can, well, we sprayed enough of it, but it's still got some crud in there. Never ending thread right here. Damn it. Okay, cool. All right, give me the new one. Where's the new one? Where's the new one? New one, new one. I got it right here. All right, clamp. Everybody seen the clamp? Yeah. And we go ahead and put the clamp back on there. I'll put something in front of it so we don't bend it. And then this line right here, we want to go ahead and make sure we put it in straight. You want to make sure this is threading in straight. So I cradled it already and put it in that position. That hand, you can twist it by hand a little bit. Our lines connected. We already connected them. We already connected the lines over here. We're gonna double check and make sure that's not leaking. 15. And just want to go ahead and torque this down. We're already good. Nice and tight already. So. And we're gonna put the wheel speed sensor back on. I got it, Pat. That's it. I mean, there you have it. The only thing you have to do next, and we're not going to do that right now because I'm waiting for the brake pads. Um, we have to bleed the, bleed the brakes. What you normally do is you would go ahead and I have a little bleeding system or you can, you can actually do foot action. Have somebody pump the brakes in there. You're going to open this line up a little bit and hold the brakes at a certain position. Um, but basically, we want to get all this fluid back into the Brembo, fill it up. Um, and make sure it's nice and tight and it feels nice and strong. But there you have it. I mean, the majority of it was the upper control arm swap out that I wanted everybody to get to see because everybody's always asking us about that. How do you swap those out? People just think you can just put your Brembo's on there and you can't. Um, simply because the A arm comes with bolts for the 5.7 and V6 is bolted onto the A arm. On this one, the actual bolts are bolted onto the Brembo. So that's it, man. Um, comment below. You got any questions anything else any, uh, you want me to answer something or there's something i didn't cover um and i'll definitely get back to you you can hit us up on instagram at mod effects at randall mod effects at jose underscore mod effects see you on the next one like comment subscribe peace We ain't got time to go to the gym, so we have to do these brambles. Yeah. Pat, you wanna do some sets? Let's go. Come on. Hit it. Give me five reps at least. Oh, look at that. We're struggling. Come on. You struggling? You're right there. <laughs> <laughs>